Hello, my soccer universe, for another Africa Cup of Nations or AFCON update. I was I wanted to use AFCON for quite quite a while, but it's so Africa Cup of Nations, Africa Cup of Nations. In German, we say Africa Cup, but I like AFCON. It's a little bit like Euro. So, AFCON update. Before we get to uh, yesterday's game, I missed something in. Uh, uh, the video that I published yesterday, which is that um, in Group C, Algeria is already group winner and Namibia are already out. Uh, not Namibia, Tanzania. I'm getting my African teams all mixed up. Uh, Tanzania is all, already out. Um, Algeria wins the group because they already have beaten Senegal and Kenya. Therefore, it cannot, because it's head-to-head, -head, cannot be uh, dislodged anymore. And the same thing is for Tanzania that... Um, they lost to Senegal and Kenya. So uh, even if they draw level with any of these two, they cannot get out of the last spot anymore. But let's get to the games that were happening yesterday. The early game was actually between uh, Mali and Tunisia and those wonderful Mali jerseys. Although I like the white one a lot, uh, even better. But I love those Mali jerseys, although the pants color was a little bit off. Um, the game, it was the heat game, but it, it was actually quite good for that, and um, Tunisia had an early chance to uh, Wahib Kazri, who put a, a free kick to uh, on the woodwork. That was around the fifth minute, and then it was a pretty open game with slight uh, advantage uh, Tunisia, but at halftime it was still goalless. And then the game really kind of fell asleep again. I always had the feeling Mali is very um, technically adept, but the better team seemed to be uh, Tunisia. But as a corner kick for Mali in the 60th that Sama Seku uh, takes, and there was either wind or he put wicked spin on it. The ball turns towards the net, and you saw the um, uh, goalkeeper Hassan coming out, and then the ball make, makes turn, and he cannot. Uh, get, get anymore, it goes directly into the net, uh, cannot be saved anymore, it's 1-0 Mali. And given that how the game was going, you thought that's probably it, because Tunisia really was shocked. However, they get a free kick that Kazri is taking, and it hits Musa Marega on the shoulder and goes in the net in the 70th, and it's 1-1. Both teams then have chances to find a winner, but in the end it ends 1-1. A uh, result that helps Mali probably a little bit more than Tunisia, as Mali has now four points, Tunisia two points, and Tunisia has to hope that Angola um, drops points against Mauritania, which is rather unlikely. But, you know, the last game for Tunisia is, is against Mauritania, so there's a chance. Mali uh, is a sturdy team. I mean, they uh, had a little bit unrest in the squad with having a player to, uh, sent home. But overall, Mali is a storage team that I think could do some damage. Um, but on the other side, you know, uh, there are more quality teams as well in there. The big matchup yesterday was, of course, uh, the top of the table clash in Group D between uh, Morocco and the Cote d'Ivoire. Uh, jersey matchup, a little bit disappointing that Morocco, you know, I like their home jerseys, but I wish a little bit more green on the Adidas. Kids, uh, Ivory Coast played in white, uh, which is a nice jersey, but I like the orange just a little bit better. But you know, it was all right. Uh, right off kickoff, a huge chance for uh, Kogia that was just cleared off the line uh, by Morocco, so it could have been already in the first minute 1 0. But for the rest of the game, Morocco really, really, really a good attacking force. Uh, very or organized, very quick passing moves. And um, especially over Amrabat, who had an amazing game, was always uh, da dangerous. I was actually um, surprised that Ziyech, he was active, but he was not this um, guy who was shooting so much or really... It was, um, be the danger point, it was more Amrabat and Enesiri who had chances, and it was exactly be, uh, over those two that um, the chances came uh, uh, and the first goal came. Where Amrabat uh, has the ball, can dribble along the line through uh, three defenders who could attack a little bit more, to be honest. But then he plays a beautiful through ball to Enesiri, who just puts it in net in the 23rd, 1 0 Morocco. Um, after that, uh, the Cote d'Ivoire, especially Sierra Dia, was the one who really was the 
player that you could see most, uh, tried to get an equalizer, but it was a very even matchup and you could see that Morocco is the better organized team overall. I was a little bit surprised that Nicolas Pepe, who half of Europe is chasing, he was a no-factor. It was mostly Kogia. You could see uh, Kessie in his fighting form. But honestly, um, there were only half chances. It was Morocco who had the better chances. And Enesiri Amrabat should have made it to 2-0 uh, uh, for sure. Um, in uh, towards, towards the end, it was a huge chance for Morocco where they should have made it 2-0, but uh, hit the bar uh, through Mazrai, uh, in the, uh, who, came, who came on late. Morocco fully deserved that win. Um, that was a very solid, solid, solid performance. The only thing that you have to say about Morocco is they have to take their chances. If they can manage to take, take the chances, this is a veritable title contender. But you know, Hervé Renard, he is probably the best coach in Africa and uh, proved that again yesterday. I think this Morocco team is one that could stay in this tournament for quite a while and they are now qualified already for the next round. The late game between South Africa and Namibia, a little bit disappointing jer jersey match. I mean, nothing against South Africa, but Namibia red. I would expect some blue and green in there. Look at the flag. Sorry about that. Um, it was mostly South Africa, although Namibia in the early in the second half had a great chance. It was cleared off the line, but right thereafter, um, Zungu had it in in the 60th to give South Africa the win. And some wearing South Africa because that's what I think the only chance that I will be able to wear South Africa <laughs> at this uh, AFCON. We'll see. I mean, I hope this. Uh, I, I would love it, South Africa. A Wilfred Martin could do some damage. Uh, I, I would be really happy. So, in the table now, Morocco is in first place with six points, but not secured yet. Uh, but they have the tiebreaker over the Cote d'Ivoire if they should go level. Um, but you know, they still have to play South Africa, so there could be a three-way tie um, on the top. But at the moment Morocco uh, is first. Uh, Cote d'Ivoire, I think, still with a win over Namibia, can, um, can make it safely to the second round. And South Africa, uh, yeah, probably needs some help, but remains to be seen. Today we have, uh, we finish up Group E with Mauritania uh, playing, um, uh, playing Angola. So that will be an interesting one. And then of course in Group F, the big match between Cameroon and Ghana, where Ghana is already under pressure. And then the late game between Guinea and big, um, Bissau and Benin. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it will go. But Cameroon, Ghana, that's a match that I really, really, really would like to see and hope I will be able to. That sounds like a very interesting one. Anyway, uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Drop some comments below if I missed anything or you want to add something to this video. And give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel all things my soccer universe and with that i want to wish you a wonderful day